What's up, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd for collecting? Of course you do. Yeah, so show us your kits. Show us your kits. Hold on a second. We said kits. Do not start flagging the video because we are talking about the kits in your collection. Now, right now, we're going to talk about some cleaning kits because let's face it, you collect a lot of different things. Usually that stuff needs to be cleaned and it's fun to share ideas of, you know, like a standard thing that everyone has in their kit. Maybe something a little more unique that you don't think not everyone knows about and something that kind of identifies you as a person or a channel and shows a little bit of uh, uniqueness to yeah. your kit. You are unique, just like everyone else. Since this is the second episode, let's celebrate that fact by making this a couple's edition of Show Us Your Kids. First and foremost, let's pass it over to Eric and Melissa. So, Mighty Q-Dogs, Show us your kits. Hello, I'm Eric. And I'm Melissa. And today we are going to show you what is in our game cleaning kit. Yes, Do You Nerd invited us to do a little video to show you all the tools we use to clean our games. That's right. All right, you want to talk about the case? Yes, you used to just have a few things in a little box. Yeah. Some random Amazon box probably. Yeah. And so you're like, I need a caddy for it. So I went to the store looking and found this. I think this. we got it at Goodwill. Yeah, yeah. So I might have, yeah. So a little Very shower useful. caddy. All right, let's dig in here. So I got the normal stuff here. Uh, alcohol, yo-yo, uh, orange cleaner. Let's see, a Pez dispenser. No, that's not what I want. Uh, here, dirty sock, gym sock, brasso. Uh, just pretend you didn't see that. Ah, here it is. Okay. I like to use toothpicks. This is something I don't think many people use. These are round toothpicks. These things are great for scraping the gunk off of controllers. And in those little grooves that NES cartridges have. Uh -huh. They're wood, so they don't scratch plastic. Uh -huh. They are disposable, they're round, they got a nice sharp pick to them. Uh -huh. Constantly scraping crust off of controllers and NES cartridges with these toothpicks. It's like fantastic. Cheeto dust coming out of there? Cheeto dust, yes, Cheeto dust. All right. What else have we got in here? Regular stuff, Q-tips, toothbrush. Here, okay. You want to talk about this? Do you know what this is? Yes, this is a little um, piece that you put into your Atari cartridges, mm -hmm. and then it it shows the um, contacts. Yeah. It it um, shows the contacts, and then you can clean the contacts with yeah. your Q-tip and alcohol, and get in there. So it it keeps the contacts. Um, up so you can clean them. That's right. Um, like it would like when you put it inside yeah. the machine. So. It's a 3D printed yep, 3D from our printed. friends. Yes. Opens up the door mm -hmm. on Atari cartridges so I can get to the contacts. Yeah, it exposes right? the contacts. Yeah. Love these. So yeah, that's from our friend. All right. What else have we got in here? Pretty standard. Ah. Oh. No Q Dog cleaning kit would be complete without. The Mrs. Q-Dog Judgment <laughs> Magnet. Now, why do I have a Judgment Magnet in my cleaning kit? Well, I will tell you why. Because when I am cleaning a game, I don't like doing it. Mm -hmm. It's a tedious and disgusting task. And so I clean the game and then I think, ah, this is good enough. And I look over, nope, it's not good enough. Not good enough for the Mrs. q -Dog. Not clean enough to That's your right. standards. That's right. It also is used to tell me, I probably shouldn't have bought all this <laughs> crap in the first place that I have to clean. Mrs. Q-Dog judgment keeps me disciplined yep. and thrifty. That's right. That's right. All right. That's what I'm here for, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, all yeah, right. that's pretty much it. The rest yeah. of this stuff is pretty typical. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we want to thank uh, Do You Nerd, Tom and Lacey, for inviting us um, to show you all our special cleaning kit. That's right. All right thanks. thanks. That was an excellent kit right there. And who doesn't love a caddy? I love anything with a handle. Makes everything so much easier. <laughs> you can carry it around so you're not stuck in one spot, you know, cleaning. My favorite thing, though, is that piece for the Atari games. Look, when you've got a game like Hubert here with uh, those exposed contacts, easy peasy. You can get to those, no problem at all. 
but the ones that do have them closed off, having that device to get past the door to contact. That was pretty clever. Love it. Pretty clever. Of course, I don't need to worry about that at all. I've got a couple of dust sleeves, so these are probably clean enough. I'm sure they're Are they? Just fine. Are they? So, disapproving Q-Dog. Okay. I'll, I'll go get the kit. That's what I thought. And next we have a co-opal of nerds. That's us! No, I'm talking Fresh and Mary. Oh! Hey guys, show us your kits! Welcome back, it's your boy Fresh. And I'm Mary, and we are a co-opal of nerds. And our friends over at Do You Nerd asked us to show you our kits. No, 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 no. Cleaning kits. Ah, kits. okay. Cleaning kits. Okay. So we decided to show you our basic carded action figure cleaning kit. So the primary tool I use, the most basic of basic lighter fluid, it's nice because it dries fast, but it can still get the uh, stickiness of the stickers off. So I'll soak a cotton bud in, the lighter fluid, rub that on the price tag, and it generally will come off. Um, for the overall card, I'll just soak some regular old paper towels in that same lighter fluid, and uh, really gets all the grit and grime off the card. Now, if I come across a really bad card or a really tough sticker, you got to go with Goo Gone. So for our unique solution for cards that have been damaged and you can't properly hang them on the wall, I have taken a twisty tie and taped it along the back here so that you can still hang it on the wall where the hook was supposed to be. But for cards that maybe you don't want to add a permanent solution to them because you want to maintain the integrity of the card, you also have the option of using binder clips. And you can use as many or as few as you want mm -hmm. so that you can pop properly balance the figure on the wall and also uh, hang it just how you like. That's right. And we know Do You Nerd loves their loose action figures. So we decided for our channel identifier to go ahead and clean a loose figure. Okay, so go ahead and hand me a loose figure. All right. We don't have any loose figures because we're not monsters. Because you don't remove them from the packaging. very nice first of all their standard being the lighter fluid that is a great tip i don't think i've really heard of that before but that makes a lot of sense especially when dealing with like the adhesive parts of things mm -hmm. yeah everyone's a nightmare right there i thought it was gonna be fun but now i just i'm frightened of you I, it's kind of it scary. scary didn't it this could be a, this could be a horror movie i really like the idea of the twisty tie taping it to the back or the binder clips, that's a great idea because there's been tons of times that I've even gotten a toy at the store and that thing is already oh, broken. Yeah. Brand new toys are already broken. So I can only imagine with older toys. Yeah, well, I tell you what, speaking of brand new toys, I felt terrible that they don't even have anything open. I know, what to are you gonna play with? That that stinks. But I hear you guys loud and clear. We we've received the message. We know mm -hmm. what you're saying. So don't worry, we have got you covered. Already we have so many great tips about awesome cleaning ideas. kits 
these. I love these ideas. Yes, great. And I cannot wait to see what Kim and James have up their sleeves. So, come on, Nerd Stillery. Show us your kits! Thank you so much, DU Nerd, for allowing us to be in this video. Um, so, just, I mean, obviously the go-to thing, I know everybody's talked about them, the one-up cards. I mean, is there a better way to clean cartridges? Um, yeah. But, you know, I had to... Doesn't make that sound. Yeah, I had to show off the AVGN collection, though. But in my experience, it seems like you only have to use them once, so that's good. Or you could just do the old-fashioned blowjob. What? What? So one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to picking up used games from yard sales or game stores is sticker residue. I hate it. It's just nasty. Why... Is it so much though? I don't. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's nice when a video game store knows what they're doing and get the stickers that don't leave residue. But apparently, that just is impossible for everybody. Yeah. So a more recent thing that I've come across is Goo Gone. Goo Gone. But I will say my number one complaint about it is it does leave a little bit of a residue. Mm. So obviously, got to be careful. But I mean, like for like modern games like this, or you know. Even on the protective cases, I come across these very often. Or even, you know, hard shell cases. I mean, it seems to work pretty fine. I would not recommend it on labels. Yeah. So it is an oil base. So it will kind of leave an oily residue if you put it on labels. For that, we just recommend a nice, like, fingernail. And gently. very gently. And what I would recommend is putting, like, an alcohol pad on top. Yeah. Let it get a little soft, then scrape it. Alcohol is always great. Yeah. Another big annoyance of mine is dust. So a lot of times if I do come across like a video game console at a yard sale, they're always just filled with dust. Plus they're fun. I like how he loves these so much, but he never dusts his room. Mm -hmm. I waste most of it. <laughs> By attacking me. There is a thing in it. <laughs> It makes it sour for me while he's over there spraying everything except for the things that need to be dusted. <laughs> um, I do like to use makeup brushes, just like super cheap eyeshadow brushes. And I use them to dust the small areas of like collectibles. So he's got like a little, little thing right there. You just kind of get in there with the makeup brush and just kind of brush all, all that out. And of course, the easiest way to pass the time while you're cleaning your collectibles is, of course, a little bit of alcohol of your own. Dude, James, James. No. What? No. God. D Come on. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for letting us be a part of this. Back to y'all. Yes, I knew they would not let us down. Love it. In fact, one of their items kind of ties into ours. It does. But before that, Holy cow, uh, makeup brushes. That was ingenious. I never, ever thought of that. And I do have some spares around that just didn't work for what I wanted them to do. And uh, now I know where they're going. And hey, the Goo Gone info. Fantastic mm -hmm. information. Especially when they pointed out using it on hard shell cases or modern games, but not so much like label art and everything. Yeah. Great tips. Love that. Yes. Although probably my favorite was uh, when they were uh, touch base on the moonshine. We got some uh, some little teeny tiny little ones shot to glass try. Size. I got a Appalachian sipping cream butter pecan. Yeah, well, I got an Appalachian apple pie. Oh yes, yes, this is gonna make cleaning much easier. Ooh. Oh, that's oh, good. You want to try this one? Oh mercy. Let's try yours. Oh, that smells very pecan-y. Oh, I guess I'm done with that one. Uh, you are now. <laughs> yeah, alcohol always makes cleaning go faster. Well, three awesome channels. Very good Nerdlings, stuff. please check out the links in the description below. Go hit them up. They all do amazing 
videos. I really love yeah. their stuff. I mean, <laughs> you've got the co-op of nerds with their love of tabletop games and toys on top of video games. We're not monsters, though. <laughs> you've got the Q dogs. <laughs> Always keeping you up to date on what's happening in the Q-Dog house week after week. Mm -hmm. I think and, and I have the same face occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you what, Eric is so good about keeping a running list of all the games that he's bought over the years. I, I love his organizational skills. It's awesome. And maybe someday Melissa will uh, finish up Octopath Traveler. But let's be fair, none of us are ever going to finish it. Mm -hmm. I can't like this. And of course, a nerd stillery. I mean, I love whenever they do pickups because the stuff they pick up is just as eclectic as what we pick up. <laughs> yeah. And that's what's great because they, just like us, show, collect what you love. Totally. Trademark this card. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's get into uh, some more things from our kits. Let's start with our standard piece. Our standard piece is Clorox wipes or Lysol wipes, basically any disinfecting wipe. The only problem is sometimes they can leave a little lint behind, so you yeah. need to kind of have a dry rag, but they are perfect for stuff like that. Bigger items, especially yes. if you're picking up like peripherals, like the one of the wheels for the Wii or these lovely plug and play arcades. This is the kind of stuff that you want. Look how big that is. Those, you know, alcohol wipes are great, but sometimes you need a bigger surface. Whenever you have a lot of these smaller grooves, like on the wheel, in these weird areas, like the cutout holes, it's easy to get these wipes in there. And when it comes to the plug and plays, you can get everything from the console to the gumball arcade stick and even the cords, too. Not a lot of people think about cleaning the cords. Now, for our unique item, uh, great minds actually think alike. They really do. Because we were going to go with the canned air as well. When it comes to like the gaps in consoles, like the Genesis, your Atari systems, whenever you have these really cool, fashionable designs, they are dust magnets. They That's really where this are. stuff comes in so handy. Enough. My favorite thing to use the canned air for is stuffed animals, because let's face it, sometimes they're kind of hard to clean with any kind of wipe or cleaning fluids. You don't always want to put them in the washing machine because it could mess them up, especially ones that's got a lot of fur like this. This is perfect for getting down in there and getting all that extra dust out of there. And it's really great for like a quick pass over the game room, as long as you're always on top of it. If you let that dust cake up, uh, maybe not the best idea. <laughs> Absolutely right. So this must have been that blowjob she was on about. Now as far as an identifier, hey, look, we're a family here when it comes to collecting and you wanna get everybody involved, even the pets. Yep, they're great at help. As you can see, occasionally it does take a little bit of encouragement, <laughs> but eventually they get in there and they help out hey good job guys there you have it nerdlings another episode of show us your kits and we would like to uh, start opening this up we might look into some other kits even beyond cleaning yep. kits so keep an eye out we might be reaching out to you soon I would like to extend a thank you to everybody that joined us today. The Q-Dogs, Co-op of Nerds, and Nerd Stillery. One last time, please check the links down yes. in the description below. Leave some comments down below what you thought of any of their tips, our tips. Let us know your tips. And be sure to give the video a like if you happen to like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to see who's going to be showing us their kits next. As always. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it... We nerd it. And I think there might be a little bit left in here. Oh, don't you dare down that. You left it. You didn't want it. Oh, no. Ooh, Ooh. That, is, that is good sipping cream. That'd be good on some ice cream. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. <laughs> He was already like open. I was like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I can't wait to play with him. <coughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. 
Man, that's really pecan -y. Like, all I can taste is pecans. Good. <laughs> so pecan -y.